Hello everyone, today I'm going to deal one of the very interesting stuff that recently I come across. So, <laughs> I wish I knew this previously. So, first of all, I will delete the unnecessary band. So, that I can do using CTRL and I can select this stuff. Whatever I want to delete. You can see whatever is highlighted with brown is now selected. So the summary band I don't require. I will delete it. Now this footer I can delete by selecting from here as well or outline frame. In outline frame you can go, you can select what you need and press on delete. It is going to delete it. Now we have detail band. Now we are going to resize the detail band and I'm going to show something like suppose I have added text. I hope like you guys know what text element is. So suppose I have added random 2-3 text element. let's take like three text element i have added now you can see like these are not aligned properly for that okay before going further i am going to show you something really interesting which is like Okay, you can see like uh, for these, these are text box and this is the static element. Okay, now you can clearly see uh, these are not in same line in order to make into same horizontal line what i need to do i need to change the y axis that i can do by selecting all i have to press ctrl i what i need to do is, is okay what i need to do is i need to press ctra and i need to hold it i do not need to lift this ctrl key whatever on windows key so i will press ctra and then i will click on that particular element like three element i want to align in one line then i will select all three line property is gone why i don't know <laughs> uh, oh yeah, yeah yeah see what's happened delete element got selected so that's the reason just a moment okay is happening a little bit slow see sometimes Jasper studio responds really slowly so this is another thing okay press ctrl and select the element make sure your detail band is not selected in case your detail band got selected then this position will not come so for this I will go and I will put everything if suppose i want to align just below the title band then i will press two pixel and then it is fine all are aligned in same line 
now you can if you want to some do designing of these element you can do it this is not a big problem what I want to do now what I want to do is I want to add an element suppose now suppose you are not seeing any thing and you want to add some frame in order to make uh, uh, this into beautiful sleep or something like that and uh, what will happen what will happen if you gonna add the frame so let's go to frame element and we, we are going to select this frame element let's add it now you can see this is frame element by default of some length we are going to resize it and you can see this pixel I will make sure it zero okay now the frame is on top of the element and now what I am gonna do see now try to select the element text right now it's a frame element is selected so after adding some text element if you are adding a frame element then uh, there is a problem that you are not going to you are not able to select uh, whatever elements already there on your screen so in order to do that what you need to do you need to reorder this whole element so if you will go on order and select on backward element right now frame is selected and this frame i want to send it to back okay now i have sent it this back now see what will happen now it is a green so now what it is showing like you have uh, seen the change in color now i can easily select this and i can do whatever i want to do so this is one of the important thing i want to show you suppose you want to display some border element how you are going to do this go here go here and this border you can select yeah by default it is going to be one pixel if you want to reduce you can go for 50 it depends on your requirement like where what you want and see the border you can see this border so you know like uh, when you are creating a recipe or some customized kind of report this is going to be very useful and trust me I struggle a lot with this frame element and now finally I got to know about how to use this frame element suppose uh, with reference to frame element this is 37 pixel now you want like it should be left aligned then what you are going to do you are going to uh, suppose one pixel distance you want and you if you are adding any other element you want like it should be aligned in horizontal or it's horizontally horizontally it should be aligned vertically see what will happen if you gonna come here and try to do it manually then it is going to be very difficult for you and I will show you no no no, no what is happening I don't want to do this okay. I will take some text element and I will show you suppose I wanna add this I wanna add this but now I have two options either I have to manually do it then it is going to take how much time you know it is going to take a lot of time other thing i will do i have arranged one element okay this is my employee name now what i am going to do i am going to say x is one pixel away from frame 
so if I want to align these two I will first align this to one pixel this is done now what I can do this is this is uh, 2 pixel below and height is 30 then what for this one y axis is going to be 32 and see 32 it's perfect perfectly aligned okay this is one pixel away from frame and this is not Oh, shit. Oh. Is it? This is a strings. This is one pixel. It's a P. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, what happened? Nine pixel. One pixel. I don't know. Uh, I think uh, when we are adding element in frame, then only it is considering because this is added before the frame element. That's why it is not taking. Suppose if I add here 7, it is moving 7 pixel, but I don't think like with respect to. Okay, see, uh, what is one more thing that is important? See, when you are adding the, when you are moving the frame, you can see the element whatever we have had previously is not moving with us. So this is what uh, something a relation and this also you need to be very careful if you want to copy paste the frame elements and all and other thing the order is also very important so this is what I want to see and this problem also I will search and I will try to figure it out is it possible something like right click then save as composite element no this is I don't know what this means but let me do something 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 together we will learn mm -mm -mm -mm. vertically learn range more organize no mm -hmm. copy format copy add to template order is done to continue see there is one more thing that I would like to say leave that thing so we will explore it later how to associate and previously added elements to the frame this is also a good use case if it is not here so it should be added in the future but that is other things what I wanna show you, what I was trying to show you that uh, okay you have to add so the best way what I think is first add a frame then try to add other element into the frame that is one of the best way to design a new report but what if like you get some badly designed report and then how to deal with those kind of report in such cases like this thing is obviously gonna help you and always remember these things are in relations to whatever you put here and sometimes is it mismatches only reason is that suppose i delete this frame and so everything whatever was the part of that frame got deleted so that is also a one good concept that i was able to do it uh, cover it I'll just delete it and now try to add you can copy paste this element but you see when you are we are copying then it's not getting aligned properly so if 32 if you will put 
no 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 x axis we have to put as one only and y axis should be 32 and now if we are checking this it is 7 pixel and for this it is 1 pixel now if I will change this into 1 pixel then it is going to be a line in same line so this so this is a very important concept if you want to design something uh, some template and things like that hope you guys enjoy this video and do comment below your question if you have regarding frame